thank you, everybody, for coming. I'm Nancy Wilhelm Morden, your mayor. Um, when I was uh, thinking about running for office last summer, one of the things I thought I would do, I would have to do if I got elected, was to chair the uh, budget public meeting. <laughs> and I thought, okay, uh, do I really want to uh, do that because I'd either be bored to death or lynched? <laughs> and so I didn't let that uh, deter me, and here we are. And uh, I don't think this is going to be a snore fest. I I'm hoping it's not going to be a lynching. Um, we've actually worked hard to come up with something uh, tonight that uh, is um, engaging and consultative. And I'd like to thank the Finance and Audit Committee, firstly, for all the hard work that's gone into this. Staff has done a tremendous amount of work as well. And of course, thank you, uh, all of you, for coming out tonight. I just want to give a little bit of a background, if we can step back a little bit. Um, we've got a lot to be proud of here in this town. Uh, we've had incredible growth over the last few decades, uh, yet we've been able to keep up with it by building great infrastructure. Um, we've uh, established standards that uh, have allowed us to win prizes all over the place. And of course, we've hosted the games. And uh, we've had uh, a tremendous number of opportunities along the way, and we've had a number of challenges as well. And we're currently faced with uh, many challenges these days. Um, you know, I don't want to uh, spend a lot of time on grim news, but everyone knows, of course, that the economic downturn is still being felt pervasively across the world. Uh, and um, it's affecting our visitors, it's affecting uh, our revenues. Um, on the other hand, there are great opportunities that, we're being, uh, that are facing us right now as well, not the least of which is having a ter terrific snow year. Um, but there's a sense of optimism in, in the town these days, a feeling that we've turned the corner, um, there's renewed interest in investing in Whistler. We've got the X Games uh, sitting out there with a decision next month. Um, so there are both challenges and opportunities these days. Uh, we, we do want to recognize the very good work that previous councils and staff have done. Um, and uh, this council is very aware of that work and thankful for it. So I'd like you to, uh, to I just want to say again that we've um, uh, listened to you during the election. We've listened to you since the election. Uh, we're committed to uh, addressing the challenges, and um, we are responding to what we've heard from you. Now, one of the first things we've done is to uh, pass the uh, council action plan. It's on, it's on the website, but uh, for those of you who like the touch and feel of paper, um, it's available for you. And uh, it has identified the five areas that we're really going to focus on over the course of the next three years. So uh, firstly, fiscal responsibility. Secondly, increased accountability and engagement. Um, Client-focused service delivery is number three. Number four is uh, an open for business focus. And then finally, progressive community planning. So tonight, the two areas that we're really going to look at is uh, fiscal responsibility and increased accountability and engagement. So this year's uh, budget process has, by definition, had to have been truncated because we were elected in November, sworn in de in December, not a lot happened in, in December. And so um, instead of, we've really had to compress the time uh, spent on the budget into a much shorter time frame this year than what we will be doing in years to come. And Ken Rogeman will be outlining um, the new uh, fiscal planning folk, uh, process that uh, we're looking towards um, setting up for the 2013 budget year. Um, in addition, but what we have done with 2012, we, we're not going to be able to do the extensive Con, uh, consulting that we will be doing in years to come. But what we have done is a lot of work on the budget so far, and we have uh, worked towards um, our, our uh, 
commit, a commitment of uh, zero and zero, zero increase in property taxes, zero increase in utility fees. Um, we are also going to, we've committed this year in quarterly reporting, and uh, that will start soon, um, and it's, that's part of the accountability piece, which is, which is new to, uh, to this town. So what, uh, what we're here tonight to do is to talk about um, uh, some of the things that we've done so far, uh, the commitments we have for planning in 2013, um, how we're going to achieve zero and zero this year, um, and uh, just review some of the work that the Finance and Audit Committee has done so far. And I, sh I should say, the Finance and Audit Committee is amazing. Jack Crompton's on it. Dwayne, where are you, Dwayne? He's left town. There he is, <laughs> Dwayne Jackson. Um, unlike uh, the last council where the Finance and Audit Committee met once a year, we're meeting every two weeks. Um, we haven't been able to do the zero-based budgeting approach simply because we don't have enough time to do it this year. Um, but uh, if there's a number attached to a budget, Dwayne, for one, has looked at it. He's got spreadsheets everywhere. Uh, and Jack and I have, uh, have been going along uh, reviewing all of the information. It's been quite a process. So uh, we um, have got challenges, of course, but uh, thankfully the province is coming through with its external funding through the RMI, which, uh, which, as I said, thankfully, or we would be in a much different position than what we're in now. Uh, we have, uh, in addition to some of the work we've done with the numbers, we've also been uh, committed to bringing in uh, increased community input into the process, and, and that is one of the reasons why we've set up the uh, Festival and Events and Animation Oversight Committee and the Resort Municipal Initiative Oversight Committee. Um, and as I have said, we're looking forward to a more robust planning process for 2013. So in summary, we've, we've, we've heard what you've had to say both through the election and after the election. Uh, we uh, are committed to the promise of zero and zero. Uh, we've done a lot of the work for 2012 budget so far. Uh, we're looking for, uh, towards a new robust process in 2013. And uh, we thank you very much for your input tonight. Uh, Jack, as soon as I sit down, he will explain uh, just what the schedule is for tonight and how we're hoping to uh, receive your input. After we're finished tonight, um, what we're hoping to do is April 17th is a regular council meeting. We will have the actual draft budget available uh, on the 17th, and that will be presented in advance of the council meeting. Then we will be giving the uh, first three readings on um, May the 1st, again at a regular council meeting, and the budget will be adopted May the 8th. Now throughout this in between now and May the 8th uh, um, and uh, the budget's adoption, your input is important and critical. So again, thank you very much for coming out tonight.